Hey everybody, it's Michael Rosso from the Film Photography Podcast, and I'm here today to talk to you about film photography, specifically close-ups, portraits with Polaroid. These are shots done with the Polaroid big shot camera. I love portraits, but what happens when you're using a camera that, that does not allow you to get as close as these portraits? Here is a Polaroid automatic 100 camera. They're great cameras. You can find these on eBay. This camera is from 1963 and only allows you to get so close. But back in the day, Polaroid introduced what's known as portrait kits that allowed you to put a small filter in front of your lens. And remarkably, this filter would fit right on your camera, like so. Remarkable. Always available on ebay.com. And now your camera is ready to get in close to get portraits. But what do you do if you have a newer Polaroid camera that has a fixed focus and you want to do close-ups. For example, this is the brand new Polaroid 300 camera that was just introduced by Polaroid. Of course, there's no way to attach a filter to the outside of your lens. I went online and I typed in Koken filters. These are filters that were made in the early 1980s, mostly for 35 millimeter SLR cameras. They fit into an adapter that stuck in the front of your lens. Now, there's no adapter to use with the Polaroid 300 camera, so I just hand hold it in front of the lens when shooting. It doesn't have to be a Koken filter. This is what I've been using. You have to think about the flash, and the flash is designed to be at least three to five feet away from your subject. What I do is I keep this taped on the back of the camera, and this is a gel, what's known as a gel. A gel like this is called Diffusion, and it could be purchased at any camera store or even online. It's sort of milky and what it does is it cuts down and diffuses the light as it goes through. Put this on the camera, right over the flash for when I shoot. You could do something as simple as taking a plastic cup that you get in the supermarket and you could just cut a little piece off of it and maybe take two of these and stack them together and there there you go, you have you know your homemade piece of diffusion. I'm gonna use this as a as a holder, as a little seat for our subject today, which is my friend, Super Bear. Smile, Super Bear. The new Polaroid 300, by the way, has business card size film for it, which is kind of cool. One little trick when using the close-up filter is, well, how close do I get? And I have come up with a formula based on trial and error. With a Koken Plus 2 filter, you need to be one foot nine inches from your subject. When in doubt, do a tape measure to get a proper focus. But wait, don't stop there. Let's say you have the Polaroid One Step, also known as the Polaroid 1000. Same thing. Get in close. Don't forget to diffuse your flash. Hey, I'm Mike Rosso for Film Photography Podcast. We're on iTunes. Just look us up in the podcast section or www.filmphotographypodcast.com. The brand new Polaroid 300, you can go to polaroid.com. Fujifilm for older pack cameras. You can get these in any store, any store online. And don't forget, for older cameras like the Polaroid One Step or One 600 camera, this takes the integral 600 film, which is out of print, but you can find it on eBay, or you can go to theimpossibleproject.com. Entrepreneurs from the Netherlands have reopened a Polaroid factory to make film for Polaroid cameras. Check it out, impossibleproject.com. So get out there and have some fun. Hey, have some fun. It'll be best to have some fun. Retro is in have fun. If it's good enough for Andy Warhol, it's good enough for you. Have some fun. Don't forget to have some fun and shoot film. Have some fun. Pretty cool. That's my tip for today. Shoot film.